Buying games on Google Stadia is a risk. Developers are bringing games to the platform and then just leaving them there to die. Creating, for a lack of better words, a Google graveyard filled with out of date, broken, and bug ridden games that, as a Stadia player, <laughs> this needs to stop. So let's talk about it. Are you listening? Google Stadia is facing a massive problem. I am not a fan of bashing developers or people who work on video games. I also think that there are plenty of good people that are doing good things at Google Stadia, but this problem has gotten so out of hand that it just needs to be addressed. Buying games on Google Stadia is a risk. And I don't mean a risk in the sense that Stadia is gonna shut down and you're gonna lose all of your games, but a risk in how after the game launches, you don't know if a developer is gonna continue to support that game on Stadia with patches, updates, or even DLC. Which in some cases means that features like crossplay are completely broken. And in the past, I've always chopped this up to, well, problems with video games exist on every platform, developers eventually get around to fixing them. But for some reason, in the world of Stadia, the list of games with issues just keeps growing and none of the developers seem to be doing anything about it. For example, 9to5Google ran an article this week detailing the ongoing issues with games like Risk of Rain 2 having broken multiplayer mechanics, World War Z still missing crossplay, Wreckfest has still yet to receive its seasonal updates, Ark Survival Evolved is so out of date that it has eliminated the ability to play with other players on other platforms, Humankind is several months behind on updates, and even Cyberpunk 2077 failed to bring cross progression to Stadia during its latest Edge Runner update. And that list of problems was expanded on by Duncan over at Cloud Gaming Extreme, who revealed that Hellpoint is still missing the Blue Sun DLC. Outward Definitive Edition is not really the Definitive Edition. Golf with Friends is still missing courses that are available on other platforms. Overcooked All You Can Eat still has not received crossplay. Everspace is missing 4K support. Avicii and Vector is missing levels. Joe Totem is broken to the point that you can't even beat the game on Stadia, and games like Legend of Keepers, Blue Fire, My Friend Peppa Pig, Fast and Furious, Little Big Workshop, and Human Fall Flat are all missing DLC expansions that are available on other platforms. Raising the massive question of what the hell is going on? And look, I fully understand that Stadia at its best is a storefront. And outside of having to submit your game through various approvals and requirements, there really isn't much that Stadia can do to require developers to bring DLC patches or updates in a timely manner. That is outside of delisting. Although I have some very serious doubts that Stadia would go as far to delist 20 plus games, especially the big ones. I could never see Stadia getting rid of a game like Ark Survival Evolved, World War Z, or even Cyberpunk 2077. But something needs to happen because as a gamer, I I am now looking at games on Stadia and I have to wonder if I invest 60 to $70 into this game, will I get future content? Will the game be fixed if broken in a timely manner or will I even be able to play with my friends on other platforms? And again, a lot of these issues are on the developers who have either abandoned or deprioritized Stadia as a platform either due to the small player base, the cost and time of fixing it doesn't justify the benefits, or it's an indie game that was made by two people and they're still trying to figure out how to fix the bug without breaking the game entirely. Either way, right now we have a list of 20 games that are either broken or missing content and that list continues to grow. I mean, it's to the point that earlier this year, the developer Outright Games was asked, hey, why aren't DLC expansions coming to Stadia? And they pretty much came out and said, DLCs were not part of our business plan of bringing games to Stadia. And while a decision like that is 100% on the developer, this is where I think that it's on Stadia to restore the confidence of its player base. Because quite frankly, I am getting to a point that I am having a hard time recommending that someone buys one of those 20 games on Stadia. And if I did, there would be a huge asterisk right next to it. You want to play Ark? Oh yeah, it's totally fun, but just FYI, behind on multiple updates. So even though it says it has crossplay, it doesn't really have it. And what sucks is that it's just so far away from the original idea of Stadia that I was sold on. And while it definitely feels like Stadia is on a completely different path and wanting to do something different, I really do wish they would let us know what they're trying to accomplish. Do you still want to compete with the likes of PlayStation and Xbox? Or are you just wanting to be a subscription service? I would love to know that answer at this point. 
Anyway, kudos to people like Inled, Duncan, and 9to5Google for composing this list of broken games. I know 9to5 plans on keeping a living list of games like this to help consumers make decisions, so if you run into an issue, make sure to let them know.